Hey, we back. I'm here on Ourobot today, and we're talking about gems. Talked about gems a couple of times before. They're nothing new, uh, but I've never talked about how long they last. And I see a lot of people saying that they struggle to get enough gems to last throughout all of their hunts. Of course, this depends how much you are grinding and how much you have grinded in the past, other such things. Uh, but that's what we're going to be talking about today. I've got up this helpful spreadsheet from way back in 20. 2018 when gems were added and while it's not a hundred percent accurate I will uh, note the five percent chance to spawn and three loot boxes today I guarantee that the first hunt you do will get you a loot box every time uh, first hunt of the day uh, and we also have down here um, empowering gems lose durability blah blah, blah. Uh, lucky gems lose twice as fast as empowering gems uh, which is not true as I have demonstrated above some stuff has been fixed. Uh, but what we're here for today is these numbers under each gem, which are accurate and have not been changed. This is the number of hunts that each gem can do, or rather the number of animals that it can do. Uh, now, uh, any different combination of gems here will last a different length of time. The one that matters the most is the hunting gem, which is always the case, to be fair. Uh, it increases the number of animals that you're getting and therefore increases the speed that the rest of your gems are used up. In theory, if you weren't using a hunting gem, then the fabled uh, lucky and empowering gems here would last for a thousand hunts, which is a long time. Uh, I'm going to be assuming that you're hunting every 15 seconds uh, for this video, but of course that's not super realistic. Uh, best case scenario is probably every 16 or 17. Uh, but anyway, uh, a thousand hunts, uh, 15 seconds. If we bring up the calculator here, you can see that will last for over four hours of straight hunting. Now, of course, there are some people that do over four hours of hunting per day. And of course, this is the maximum that a gem could last. It is a fabled gem that is not being increased by the hunting gem at all. You're not going to get them to last any longer than that. Uh, so if you are one of those people that's hunting more than that, you're certainly going to be using up your gems very quickly. Of course, this is also a pretty unrealistic estimate of how long a gem lasts, because if you're using a fabled gem over here, you're probably using a fabled gem over here as well, and then of course you're getting an extra nine animals, and so the gem is going to last ten times less long, about 25 minutes. Now I would say 25 minutes of straight hunting is still a good while for most people, and of course you can get more than one gem per day. In fact, you can get four gems per day, exactly. Uh, but you would have to use three of those to get this set up. And of course, in order to get the fabled ones, you would have to be pretty lucky. So again, it, it, it's kind of an unrealistic estimate. You will notice that the number of animals under each gem matches up with the rarity. So if you've got rare gems, you get 250 animals. Uh, with the hunting gem and the empowering gem and lucky gem both last for 250 animals. So if you using three of the same rarity of gem, they will all run out at the same time. And in that case, you will get as many hunts as is in these numbers here. Interestingly enough, uh, these don't always actually increase as the rarity of the gem increases, because of course you're gaining animals uh, per hunt from each rarity of the gem. So the fact that it lasts for more hunts is kind of a, a bonus. Uh, this means that the rare one, for example, lasts for half as long as the fabled one. Those low rarity gems, not so bad after all. Um, of course, you are going to have to spend longer in your day to make sure you use up all of these gems. So, for example, if we take the uh, rare gems and plug their amount of hunts into the calculator, we once again, we, we get 12.5, which is half of 25. Who would have guessed it? And that's how long it's going to last if you have all three rare gems. On on average from a loot box you are getting rare gems as well. Uh, we've got the percentage chance for each gem underneath. You'll notice that the common and uncommon do have higher percentages, uh, but if you take the fact that epic and mythic over here are also uh, better than rare, I would say on average you're probably getting a rare gem. Yes, yeah, sometimes you'll get the common and uncommons, but sometimes you'll get the epic and mythics for example. So rare gem on average seems pretty good, and if you're getting four gems per day, you're pretty much getting a set of three rare gems every day plus one spare. 
which will give you uh, that 12 and a half minutes worth of hunting on average of course you might get lucky you might get fabled one of course you have your one extra gem that you're saving up because uh, you get four per day and you're only using three in that case uh, and 12 and a half minutes worth of hunting is a reasonable amount 12 and a half minutes of straight hunting that is like I said earlier, there's plenty of people on the bot that do more than four hours of hunting per day. And if you are one of those people, you're going to be using up your gems very quickly. Uh, but 12 and a half minutes is a pretty respectable amount. And in that time, you will get 500 animals, not this 250, because remember, you have the empowering gem that's doubling it. So it goes up to 500 animals that you will get in that time. I've done the maths on calculating how much money you get per animal in the past. And if you're interested in that, I would recommend checking out my video on it uh, but getting 500 animals uh, with the rare gems so of course you're hunting 50 times that's going to cost you 250 total owo money and then you're going to get 500 animals in return which is definitely worth well over that so you're making some profit but there's something here that we haven't considered aside from quests which also give you extra loot boxes it's a bit variable so i wasn't going to count quests um but the other thing is if you don't hunt for a while maybe you take a, a week off oh well, but you don't hunt but you still go on to claim your daily and grab a couple loot boxes you can stock up a bit if i check my inventory for example you can see that i have quite a lot of gems now I'll just move the calculator for you uh, but that's because over my time of playing oh well i haven't been hunting that actively all the time <laughs> in fact most of it to be honest and so i've just been stocking up gems and then if we consider that these rare gems here for example were lasting 12 and a half minutes each and i've got around 400 of them that means that the rare gems in my inventory alone would last over 80 hours of hunting and of course, there's still plenty of other gems to go around. It's kind of absurd amount of hunting. I'm not going to be getting through my gems anytime soon. And of course, in those 83 hours, even if I did 83 hours straight of hunting, that's like four days, right? Guess what? In that time, you get more loot boxes. My point is that that 12 and a half minutes of hunting per day, ish, stacks up even if you don't do it. So if you go a week without hunting for example you're going to get that 12.5 minutes per day times seven stored up in your inventory then you could do it the end of the week and that's over an hour worth of hunting it only takes a couple of weeks worth of playing on the bot and just generally collecting gems to suddenly have enough gems that you can quite comfortably hunt for hours and hours at a time without running out of gems anyway there you go that is roughly how much gems last of course it depends which gems you're using and if you're mismatching them so for example i've got here my fabled hunting gem because of course that's the important one but i'm only using a rare empowering gem because actually all the empowering gems are exactly the same and it doesn't matter that's cool um but yeah, you can mismatch them and then that'll uh, change the amount of time that they'll, they'll last for, obviously. Uh, but on average, that's that's kind of how they, they last. And of course, you can use this math to work out, I don't know, how, how long you've got in your entire inventory worth of gems, which is something that I'm not going to be doing right now. Uh, but as you can see, even with just the rare ones, it's 80 hours or so. And with all the other ones combined, it's, it's going to be a good while. Uh, and that's just with saving up uh, passively over time uh, not that i gain all of my loot boxes per day but that's that's another matter um hopefully this was a reasonably interesting video and and hope you enjoyed i'm going to leave this one here bye